Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your guy Realistic here and I'm doing another tutorial for SoundOracle.net and in this video what I'm going to be going over is three of my tips for badass 808 slides of what you can do to make your 808 slides sound better and get them sounding tight and gelled in with your mix and as I always say these tips and tricks will work in any DAW or any type of sampler here the particular one that I'm going to be using is contact but hey you can use the samplers in Ableton, FL Studio, Logic, Reason, whatever you're using they're all going to be able to do have the same function functionality and stuff like that so no worries with that all right so the way that I do my slides in particular and what this tutorial is going to be based on is using your slides with a pitch bend now there are different ways to do it but that's just the way that I do it so that's how I'm going to show it in this tutorial so when you're using the pitch bend method of your 808 slides and glides here the first tip that you want to do is you want to set your pitch bend to an octave and so usually like the default set is going to be either at like a second or third interval and I'll show you what that sounds like So sometimes I can bring certain types of issues going on with uh, your 808s and stuff because if you're at a third interval, that's not bringing you to the third degree of the scale. That's bringing you to the third interval. So what a third interval would do is bring you to a major second. And a fifth interval would only bring you to a major third away from your note that you're playing. So let's say that you're in the key of C major. So those pitch bends may work for notes like C and F, but you will run into those issues when you're playing a note like E, for instance, because a third interval, for instance, would bring you to an F sharp and a fifth interval would bring you to a G sharp. So setting it to an octave would be a much safer bet. And in this particular software here, you just go to this little wrench here, go to mod, and then you'll see right here that our pitch bend is set to two. We set that to 12. That way we're 12 intervals or a full octave away and all that's gonna do is ensure that your bends are staying within the key of your song because if you're playing like the note C or E or F if you just go up an octave you're still gonna be within the confines of your key no matter what note that you're playing because you're just shooting up and down an octave there all right now my second tip knowing when to go up or down with your pitch bend especially with when the purpose of your pitch bend or your glide here is you want the listener to be able to hear and feel what you're doing with the 808 slides so usually going up won't cause too much of an issue whether the note is higher or lower but if you got a lower note like this one that I got over here you see I chose to go up with the pitch bend so that's a pretty low note there right so going up with it allows the listener to to hear what's going on with the pitch bend versus if I decide to go down with it I'll show you what that sounds like going down here So it's so low that it almost sounds like it's disappearing. Now, there are certain effects where that would sound pretty cool, where if you're kind of going for more like a muted or choppy effect or something like that. But if the ideal is what you want to do is for the listener to hear it, usually when you go down, you want to choose like a higher note. So they can hear and they can feel that there's certain like upper lows or mid lows there that can work with going down. But when you got like a really no low note like this particular one, we're just kind of disappearing there. So that's why I say that you want to choose when to make the right decision to go up or down with the pitch bend. And usually you want to be able to make that decision when you're dealing with a note that's lower in tone and lower in pitch. So my final tip here in this video right here for 808 slides and techniques and stuff like that. So sometimes what's really cool is you can choose a note that's held out a little bit longer. And what you can do is you can split that note and then you can either go up or down an octave with it, right? And then add in some type of pitch bend going into it, whether it's like if you're going up, add like a pitch bend that's going down into it. Kind of adds a cool effect right there. Or, or choose to go down an octave there and then slide up into it.
So it just kind of gives it cool little effects versus sometimes just doing a slide up on the on the note itself. It's just kind of cool sometimes where you go up an octave with the actual note playing, but then you're actually going down an octave with your pitch bend or vice versa. You're going down an octave with your note playing, but then you're going up an octave with your pitch bend. You're still kind of getting that same note value, but it's kind of giving you a cool effect to get there. All right, so those are three tips right there to consider when doing 808 slides. Hopefully this information helps right here. So I'm hoping that you got a lot out of this tutorial today. Hopefully there was some information that was useful. If you're getting a lot out of this, but you want to see more, please feel free to comment below. Let us know what kind of tutorials that you want to see in the future. And Oracle and I can definitely make that happen. We're always trying to find the content that you want to see. If you're liking what you're hearing from me, you can find me everywhere on social media at Realistic Productions. You can find me at the web, realisticproductions.net. You can find my man Sound Oracle everywhere at Sound Oracle. And if you're looking for the best 808s, the best kicks, the best snares with the craziest loops and samples you can find on the internet right now, go to soundoracle.net. All right, till next time.